Modern Warfare has gotten a couple of updates over the last, well, week and a half or so, two weeks, depending on what time frame you want to look at it. And so with that, each time we saw some updates to various game content, some fixes for bugs, and so on and so forth. But whether intentional or not, every update usually brings along with it some new assets in the game files and game code. And that's how a lot of the times when larger title updates go out, new things that really shouldn't be known get known things about future content and things coming up that aren't necessarily right in the very near future but are on the horizon as the content's still in the pipeline data mined content comes out through all of that so while we've had a couple of title updates so far these updates are no exception we've talked about leaked stuff here before launch we've talked about leaked stuff since launch and well, we have some new stuff to talk about in the most recent update that being the likes of 13 operators multiple weapons about a half a dozen of those new spec ops missions and a few game modes as well. So today we're going to break down all of that and of course keep you guys in the loop for everything you need to know. If you're new, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date daily with all Modern Warfare content. And of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on any of these. Is there anything in particular you're really looking forward to seeing or whatever it may be, feel free to let me know. But that said, let's start out with the operators here. This information comes from Reddit user Senasalo. We've talked about him here on the channel many a times before. He's done a lot of stuff with Modern Warfare in particular and even more stuff, more so in the past, but what we see here out of this is that of 13 upcoming operators, those being named Iskra, Kilgore, Nebo, Stoli, Trig, and Yandi for the Allegiance factions, those split up between Chimera, the Spetnaz, and the Jackals, and then on the Coalition side, we see Farah, Ghost, Hooper, Kato, Lynch, Quinn, and Zedra. Now, these are just about an even split, save for Coalition. We see six on the Allegiance side, two of which in each category, Chimera, Spetsnaz, and Jackals, but on the Coalition side, we see one additional one. It's a 6v7 split here with this, where we have two of each for the Demon Dogs and the SAS, but Warcom actually has three operators with it. So this, to me, kind of indicates that we're going to see even more on top of this. It's not every operator we're going to see from now until the end of the game's main primary life cycle, which is rather interesting to me. Maybe it is the case. Maybe it is something that there is going to be more than just one larger updates in terms of things added in so that we do see more later down the line. But as for when these get introduced, I'd imagine that we'd get two at a time. The first initial thing, maybe it's a season one thing where we get like how we had in the operations in Black Ops 4, a new specialist every time. Maybe we get an operator like that, but truthfully, I, I don't know how that would entirely work out because we see a lot of these more so coming with challenges, whether that's something tied to the seasonal battle pass, whether it's something tied to seasonal challenges on the officer ranks. I don't exactly know, but what I do imagine and have some thoughts on is that we wouldn't get one of these introduced at a time. I would imagine that we end up getting one for the Allegiance, one for Coalition introduced at the same time. So we get two operators every single operator drop, if you want to call it that. Operators, as we know, though are solely for cosmetics there's no ability to them but personally i'm curious to see how these build out the world of modern warfare's new universe we see some crossover in the current ones from the campaign but with addition of campaign characters like farah and ghost who's mentioned at the end of the campaign that's going to be interesting to see our company of heroes expand a little further i know that not many may share that same enthusiasm for the lore of the universe but i'm all for it i'm curious personally following suit on that to see what they do for ghost in this case if it's the same simon riley in what we know of from the modern warfare universe before but also a playable mp version of what the campaign leads us up to and what is likely a sequel or if it's just the likeliness of ghost or something like that i'm curious to see how that one will work out in particular because i know that's going to be an an absolute fan favorite that actually has some key art already in the game files that may indicate that may be one that is already almost ready to go if not ready to go but talking about the lore of these characters i can't imagine that ghost would have a whole lot on his information bio if it's a follow-up from what we see in campaign but no matter what way you spin it i'm all for ghost return in this game whether that be an mp or where if he's introduced in spec ops and the narrative continues on i'm into it but anyways let's talk about the other loot content let's talk about weapons this information coming from mr jarney as well as the gaming revolution now mr jarney was a leaker who we've talked about here on the channel before but honestly we haven't for quite some time Time. I hadn't heard too much of what he was doing up until recently, and now he's back on what he was doing beforehand in other titles, that being adding these items from the game files and importing them into the actual game 
bringing them up to be playable models and usable in game rather than just seeing the files in the game and realizing, hey, that's going to be coming. So he actually, for a little bit of time, had some footage up on his Twitter and elsewhere, but it's since been taken down. That kind of stuff, whenever it's that obvious that it's not supposed to be public just yet, that stuff gets taken out way faster than you'd imagine. Naturally, it's an electoral property of Activision and Infinity Ward, but he ended up posting gameplay of the crossbow, the vector, and the MTAR. Three weapons that are absolute classics, and of course, we'll be making a return here. All three of these already in the game files and close to seemingly ready to go. The models that he imported into the playable version of the game didn't look exactly complete, but of course, that's because it's stuff that's tethered to other pieces of the game files. So it's not perhaps the full build of the weapons. It's not geared up and ready to go. It's maybe a patch or two away and are still being worked on perhaps with some final texturing, some final details in the stats, whatever it may be, but it's something that is coming very soon, being that it does have even any sort of playable build. But additionally, on top of what we see in the game files from Mr. Jarney, and of course, what's already seen playable, and therefore maybe coming very soon, the Gaming Revolution, who has had a ton of his predictions and leaks come true, ended up adding to this list saying that he has heard about the UMP, the Glock 18, the Spaz 12, and the Intervention coming as well. He mentioned that the Honey Badger was one also, but to my knowledge, you can actually craft that in-game based off of some weapon attachments, like how you can make the M16, how you can make the classic AUG, and things like that. So those weapons are definitely up for consideration, what you should keep an eye out for as well. Again, in terms of timing, I would imagine that the first major content drop is probably around Season 1, whenever that happens, and that was already confirmed to be early December. So keep an eye out for that kind of stuff, that we may see some more updates to these game files, we may see some teasers, and maybe official promo even, in which it showcases some some of this stuff. Shifting focus just ever so slightly now, but still staying on the topic of Mr. Jarney, he also ended up pulling up some of the game files and also, again, forcibly making them playable. The game modes of Infected, Gun Game, and Team Juggernaut. Now, these are a part of the game mode list that we talked about well before the game even launched here, but it was something that was a part of 38 game modes leaked for Modern Warfare, so there's definitely no shortage of potentially limited time modes we see within this game come whenever it hits its full stride, whenever the more so technical side of things are resolved and we get a more so focus on new additional content from Infinity Ward rather than patching up bugs that may arise with each new update. That kind of stuff is also coming, and of course, was found in the game files as of right now. The final thing I want to talk about, though, is one that really has me curious for a number of different reasons. You guys may not be all too into it, but I think the larger picture that this helps to paint is something important. That being leaked Spec Ops missions. Now, this again comes back to Reddit user Senesalo coming full circle with where we started in this video. He ended up leaking things that are already in the game files, including imagery for the loading screens of these, Operation Harbinger, and also Operation Just for Ward. Now, to save you guys a ton of time in terms of talking about the specific details, that's linked down there in the description below, as with all the other assets we talk about that we do have links to. Some of them, again, have been taken down. But what we see here out of this is already the start of Spec Ops DLC. We do know this to be a thing that's going to be happening. That's already been stated throughout the pre-promo and everything that Spec Ops isn't going to be neglected. We're going to see new stuff added in throughout the year. But what I'm curious about is what this means for the world of Spec Ops, because what we already see is ground war maps already being taken from that air quote world of spec ops you can see things in the distance of ground war maps you can see things in the distance of spec ops missions where they're sharing the same world in one massive map and i'd be willing to wager that that also is the battle royale map that is rumored to be coming within early january sometime here whenever that may be but I'm curious to see what this paints in terms of the picture for what we'll see in terms of playable areas and what we'll know about before that battle royale, if it does come to pass, before that eventually drops. So while Spec Ops may be something you may have not even touched by now or you're not too fond of because of how buggy it is, I think that the upcoming additions of more the implications of what that means a little further is more so intriguing and interesting overall, not necessarily just if you're a fan of the Spec Ops operations. So that said, that's the stuff that we have here on deck that has been leaked as of recently. In terms of timing, I truly don't know when to expect. It seems like we could be on pace for maps coming every two weeks if things hold up. We got a little bit of time left to see if that second drop would follow suit, but it also could be something that drops with the new season that comes again in early December. And so maybe we see a larger content drop here and then every other couple of weeks we get one or two maps that come along with it. 
but I'm curious to see what happens next. There's certainly a lot here that leaves us with more questions perhaps than answers, but that said, that is where we're going to wrap it up. So let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to here out of this? Maybe new operators, maybe new weapons, maybe new spec ops missions, and what that may mean for the battle royale potentially coming to Modern Warfare. That said, let me know your thoughts, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare, updates, news, information, tips, tricks. We got you covered with the best of all that, so hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and want to stay up to date with all of that that we have here on the channel. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with my side of YouTube, where I can live on both those, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, wherever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace.